Welcome. This will be the continuation of attribute editing. Uh, today we're going to be working in the Nevada parcel fabric. And yes, uh, well, yesterday for me, but the last, the first lesson in attribute edits, we were looking at polygons that appeared appeared to be empty. Well, we have a similar situation here. It's not on the screen as of yet. But I'm going to go through on how to correct a polygon with correct attribution for a po non-existent polygon. But in, in this screen, you can see that where our quarter sections, we have kind of a couple funky areas here. There's a little one here. There's actually a little one down here that's hard to see here. And there's a little funky stuff here. Those won't be covered in today's lesson. Today's lesson is going to be creating a new parcel with correct attribution in the parcel fabric. So the first thing we're going to do is I know where this area is. So I'm going to go ahead and verify that I'm editing. I am editing. I'm going to zoom in to the area that I'm concerned about and as we can see there's this area here and we can see this mineral that comes down this line is probably that corner and you see this overlapping mineral here that's its corner sticking out well first thing we're going to do is set our selection and first off let's try special surveys to see if there is actually a polygon that exists. Let me get our selection tool and I click in there and I get nothing. So let me go see if it might be under second division by accident. I click in there and I still get nothing other than I double clicked and I got my vertices and it brought up parcel details which I don't need at the moment. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do first divisions and townships and quarter sections. I'm going to click it within that polygon again. Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little closer. <clears throat> get my selection tool. Okay, now I get to pull down, but I see that there is nothing that lights up for that triangle polygon wait for the spinning ball here and I can see if I hover over section or townships it goes to the highlighted line so I'm pretty much confirmed that there is no polygon existing for this triangular section I do know it is for a mineral just somewhere in the processing, probably either when edits were done in the Nevada CAD NSDI, this got missed and didn't get populated, which is very easy to see as small of an area as it is. It's less than a hundredth of an acre, but we still need to put it in there. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to come over here. I found digitizing for a new parcel. The best way to digitize that new parcel is to the points. So I go to the actual table of contents. I'm going to turn my points on. I have found that if you go to endpoint, sometimes it doesn't quite catch the endpoint. And there may be a, a close endpoint in some of these areas. And if you don't have the points turned on, you may not observe that. Like we were zoomed out and I went to endpoint, I may not notice how close together these are. And I may end up digitizing to the wrong endpoint. So I like to go to my points and zoom in. We're in the edit session. I'm going to go to new parcel. Okay, the first thing we want to do in new parcel is go to our properties because we want to set up the proper template for the polygon we're going to create. Well, right now it's aliquot. We don't want aliquot. We want special surveys, mineral survey. We click on it. We say OK. Now at least we're in the correct template. Now we can go to lines. We know there's no lines because there's basically no polygon. The lines are for all the adjoining polygons, but not for this 
triangular section here. So we're in the new parcel. Assure that you do have your construction tool. It's this tool here. And we can click. I have my snapping set, or I did have my snapping set. Two points. I'm going to park that right up here. And this is on point, point snapping. So you can see if I get close to this point, my construction tool snaps to the point. You can see my crosshair cursor is not on the point, but the tool snapped to it. This is just to demonstrate that it will snap to the point. You could get right on the point. Okay, now after I select that first point, I want to right click and I want to be sure I'm in digitize mode. Once I've assured I'm in digitize mode, I come to this next point, gives me point two, and it doesn't matter whether you go clockwise, counterclockwise. I go to three, and then I need to close my polygon. I close my polygon. Now, I can either keep changes unjoined, but I really don't want to keep it unjoined myself. It may be something that you may want to experiment with or, or work with at a later date. I want to keep mine and join, which is this button here. So I'm going to say keep and join. It brings up this window. In several other of the uh, training videos for um, creating minerals within the fabric and a few others, this we've been in is attribute edits, um, not attribute edits, uh, the par join parcel uh, command window. So we want to fabric points help fix line points move to lines. And we just click on join. Now we see we it, the polygon was created. It comes up with the default name of the polygon is 1. And it is as a mineral survey in the yellow color. So at this time we can close our parcel details and it's still selected so we can go to attributes and to make this conform to the rest of the attributes with this it's portion of mineral surveys that have been patented which we designated in Nevada as M-S-P-A-T-S. Mineral Survey Patents is what that stands for. Now we know it's not 19 acres, so we can quickly compute the average uh, acreage of this. First we want to choose our units. We don't want distance, we want area. We want to make sure acres is selected. It is. And then we want to click on this button here for measuring the area, which is this weird looking little trapezoid here. And so we have points selected, so it's going to snap to the points. You can see it even go to a township midpoint. Points, point, and close it. Okay, it's 0 .004728 acres. So I'm going to call it 0 .001 acres in my attribution. So I come back over here to my attributes window. I'm actually going to get my selection tool, attributes, come here, backspace 0 0.01. I'm going to go ahead and say I've compiled this, meaning I've verified it or I've checked it. You notice now it comes in with the name or the label of MS Patents. This is set up to label on the name. <clears throat> Shows the date, which is today. Has the other factors down through here, and it's a mineral survey. Now, here down in these mineral survey, we could actually put in a survey number if we wanted. 
Uh, we could put in the suffix if you're going to work with the suffix, or in a note you could put the survey. And the note is generally where if I decided I wanted to put the mineral name or claim name, I would put it here. Uh, survey number would probably be the special survey mineral survey number that I would put in here. So I've completed it. I've corrected it. I'm going to close this. Don't need that anymore. I'm going to clear this selection. I'm going to go back, zoom out a little bit. And you can see where we started. It's hard to tell other than there's a bunch of points there. If I'd turned those points on earlier, I'd probably thought about this and seen it. And there we see it. And we see the other points that are associated. They probably can't, were constructed from minerals in GMM that came into the CAD NSDI. And as things have happened, you can see these group of points here. These are areas you would want to inspect to find out what happened here. And basically, this is an area that probably got validated in our CAD NSDI for minerals. And in the CAD NSDI, we did not have quarter sections. And so something in the processing from CAD NSDI <coughs> into the parcel fabric created these quarter sections from the PLSS intersected. And so some of these we're going to have to come back and correct, but that will be a future lesson. So for now, we've completed the lesson that we wanted for now. And I'm going to go ahead and turn points off. I'm going to pin the table of contents back. And that will conclude this lesson two of Attribute Edits 2. Have a great day.